just what is it you're trying to say? That your temper can often get the best of you. Good. Can you see the smoke? Oh, I see the smoke. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> because you will be fooling yourself, Mr. Gray, if you think that people don't need to see a blaze and fire to realize they are in a burning house. People use the term his gruff nature or he was not as likable. But you have to keep in mind on who he was from what I've been able to ascertain of that, of a man before his time that actually dared to stand toe to toe with police officers that were completely bigoted. But there was something that they could not challenge. Do not underestimate us, Mr. Dixon. We are educated, independent with funds, and in some states, more influential than the white folks. <laughs> oh, this will work. Sooner or later, everybody will get on board. You see. <laughs> Joanne Robinson, my character, she had a great deal to do with the movement. She had lived a similar situation on a bus and was very angry about what happened. What's interesting about this story is that we get to see the people. And as a woman or as in a marriage, if your wife decided that she was going to be an activist and put her life on the line, what would that mean for Rosa? but also what would that mean for her family and her husband and her relationship. There are some conflicts within the household about her being the head of the movement. He felt that a target was being placed on her back and that there would be certain consequences that they would have to pay for having her in such a prominent position. This movie is about really digging into what happens behind the scenes. But there's so many moving pieces and, and things that happen to allow this entire situation to come together the way it did and, and for them to have a successful movement. <laughs>